Animaniacs. I um, never played the game. Remember the cartoon. I remember really not actually not liking it. And I know that's not a popular opinion. It's definitely a big deal. Uh, and I know I'm in the minority. But yeah, it just kind of annoyed me. It was one of them ones where it'd come on and I'd be like, oh God. And wait for whatever it is that I'm actually waiting to watch. But, the video game, it's made by Konami, who made some fantastic games for the Mega Drive. Um, Zombies, Rocket Knight Adventures, and Sparkstone. Very, very many. Great, great games for the console, so... I'm quite optimistic it'll be a good game, it's just, you know, the source material is not something that I'm particularly interested in. So, um, again, another cutscene introduction to the game. Like I said, I can't remember how many games ago, but it's surprising to me how common that was, and it just totally slipped me by as a kid. Bright, colourful logo. They lived in the Warner Brothers studio a lot, didn't they? As I recall. So, um, I don't know, I don't really know what they did. I guess they just kind of dicked about in the studio. I don't know the law of the Animaniacs. What are we doing here? Okay, let's get going. So... Well, I got that right. One Brother Studio. Who's John Snots? I'm curious who John Snots is now. I'm really hoping for a good game after um, Altered Beast and Andre Agassi. I'm a lot more optimistic, as I say, it is Konami. I'm assuming it's just a standard left to right platformer. Don't know if you control just the one character or all three. So that will be interesting. Judging by how it's going, I'm guessing all three. Or maybe one level one at a time, I don't I don't know. We'll see. So straight away, graphically, you know, it's crisp, clear, attractive. So we're all three characters in yeah, it's a bit like our real monsters, but you can switch between them. So I'm guessing each of them probably has their own ability, if you will. Probably a standard kind of puzzle platformer, so... Good looking game, straight away I can say that, but... God, it's slow to ward, because they're a run button. Okay, so he has a mallet. So I need someone who can push this box, I guess. I'm not strong enough, as the little lad. So we'll switch to... Yeah, the big one can push things. So the big one can push things. The little boy has a hammer. So I'm guessing he's the one I use to attack people, maybe. So there's a bomb here. I don't know if anyone has a match or something. What's her power? Okay, so she blows love hearts. He also has some kind of racket. Okay, so you just hammer the fuse for some reason. Create a spark that way, I suppose. Yeah, so we're getting the idea straight away, so I'm guessing... i uh, get past it. I'm guessing it'll be the love heart this time, so that we've used all three. And it is. So it feels very familiar and average, if I'm honest. Good looking game though, you know, let's give it some acclaim for how uh, how attractive it is. But, uh, Bungle in the Jungle, the adventure of Dirk Rugged the Seventh. So it looks like you go at every level, that's quite clever, it looks like every level is um, a movie that is being shot at the studio. So I quite like that. Gives a bit of reason why we're going to presumably go around the standard um, fire, ice, castle, 
forest in this case, levels of a platformer. Okay, so we're getting the grip. We've got to use the powers that we have to move from left to right. I tell you, the, my biggest criticism of it so far is just how fast the characters walk. I cannot emphasize. Also, the jumping is poor. But look, what is that? There's no speed up. So these stars, I don't know what that does, maybe an extra life or something. How do we get this to go? Some switching characters in here to see what we can do. Oh, there's a fuse, look. Jump in then. Hey. Wolf heart, maybe. Okay, so this um, stage manager is attracted to underage cats. Once they flirt with him, to each their own, you know. I don't really know how you get under that. Oh dear. There's no option to crouch, so I'm not sure what you meant to press there. Maybe it's some form of um, one of the abilities that you use or something like that. I'm not sure. I think at the same time they were making the Tiny Toon adventures, weren't they, as well? And I'll be honest, I actually quite enjoyed that. I remember that as the cartoon. Similar era. I think that had a game on the Mega Drive too. As I recall. Let's get back on this contraption. So I'm, I don't actually know what what you're going to do. Oh god. There must be a way to make it lower itself. But I tried each action on it. Well, if nothing... If nothing else, we're becoming pros at this one section of the second level. That is if we pretend that that tutorial bit was a level. To save my uh, indignity, we'll say that it was. <laughs> I like the animation and the presentation of the game, that's the credit I'll give it, it's a good looking, it's a good looking game for the Mega Drive, but the gameplay for me, I'm not enjoying it, <laughs> oh god, <laughs> just to put the cap on the not enjoying it, that uh, kind of sums it up, I'm sure there's a very simple um, thing to do there. But it's just. Why does it not come off? Oh. Oh god. Just accept my love hearts. There we go. Last last try of this. If we if the uh, if the mechanical spidery thing doesn't move for us this time, I'm afraid we'll never know what awaits us on the other side of that studio lamp. Well, I certainly won't. Come on. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what 
Thank you. Oh my god. So that's the Animaniacs on the Sega Mega Drive from Konami. Not their best effort by a long way. Um, pretty game, glacially paced, terribly slow, not great. 